And we are so happy to be joined by Rabbi David Rosen, the International Director of Interreligious Affairs for the AJC. Hello and uh, welcome. And it's Thanks, so nice Rabbi. to be here with uh, all of these frogs Indeed. in the middle. <laughs> Serious competition. Exactly. I know. They want to be interviewed. So uh, tell us about your recent uh, visit to uh, Abu Dhabi and why it was uh, so monumental. Well, it's a remarkable initiative that has now been established in Abu Dhabi. It came out of the historic visit of Pope Francis and the Grand Imam of Al Azhar in 2019, where they signed a declaration of human fraternity. This is a, it's not the substance that was so important. It's important that the heads of two world religions are communicating a respectful relationship with one another and rejecting violence and hostility and hatred. Coming out of that, there was a decision to establish a complex where there would be a mosque, a church, and a synagogue, each one separate, but in an overall complex, joined by a garden plaza on top and underneath a conference center, an exhibition center, and one of the greatest architects of our time, Sir David Ajaya, who is a British citizen, but I think he's from Ghana originally, he designed these, which an initial look, they seemed very similar because they're all three cubes, mm -hmm. but they're actually very significant differences, and they're really beautiful inside and they utilize the sun and the opening that I was there in Abu Dhabi for took place at sunset wow. with the rays coming through of these three beautiful buildings plaza where you had rabbis bishops sheikhs imams as well as members of all the different communities all gathered together I mean it was almost really messianic vision there and then you had a, 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 dis, a performance by children and some adults from three different communities bringing gifts and expressing solidarity to one another. And this center is going to be visited by millions of people. They are functioning religious houses. So the synagogue was dedicated when I was there. There is a rabbi son who is appointed as the official rabbi. There's an assistant rabbi, Rabbi de Toledo. And they have a daily minyan. Wow. And uh, the mosque is functioning daily and the church certainly weekly. But they also hope that this will be a place where there will be also a gatherings of understanding of common communication as well as exhibitions highlighting both the shared values and respecting the differences and it's also us. called the abrahamic family house indeed so the whole complex is known as the abrahamic family house and each synagogue has a name each house of worship has a name and the synagogue is named after ramba maimonides moses ben maimon synagogue wow what an experience uh, it's amazing. to be there especially with everything happening you know, internally, politically, and whatnot. What's it like, you know, being there where you really, you're seeing tourists of all different nationalities converging yes. on one spot? So, so I was, there was both a seminar to open it that I was honored to participate in, and that was also very exciting. But one of the most exciting things is that once the center was opened, you have these thousands of people passing through every day. I mean, these are working houses of worship, functioning houses of worship, each, but nevertheless, it's also a place where massive amount of tourism is coming. And you see hundreds, if not thousands, of Israelis already been there. Many of these Israelis would never go to a synagogue here right. in Israel. But this is an opportunity for them to reconnect with their religious heritage. And they're all open mouth gobsmacked by this whole phenomenon. So it's really wonderful. And then one's also got to take into account that millions of people who would never have any interest in going to a synagogue come to the UAE as tourists. And they go on day trips. Or they either stay in Abu Dhabi or go from Dubai on day trips. And they visit the Grand Mosque and they visit the palace. And now here in this complex, you have the Louvre, the Guggenheim's almost finished, there's a natural history museum, there's a national museum, as well as you know, people living there, domestic development as well, urban development, and you have this beautiful complex. So people who would not have a particular interest to be able to discover a synagogue or to learn anything about Jews, now will come then, it's an opportunity for us to introduce people wow. to our heritage. And especially at this time when there's renaissance anti-Semitism and so much prejudice and misunderstanding, to have the opportunity to give people an honest, true beautiful, wonderful picture of Jewish heritage. It's an amazing About opportunity. Amazing. I said there that, that Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, he's the president of the UAE, has given an amazing gift to the Jewish people through this particular center. Because wow. it was he who insisted there has to be a synagogue as well. It's really incredible. And what does this say? I mean, an interesting timing given that during this holiday season, we have Rambam, Passover, and Easter all kind of converging around the same time. Like, what are what are your hopes for, you know, you're dealing with interreligious affairs, but what, what are your hopes as 
to what we can glean and what we could all look forward to as humanity with the holidays falling together and in the next year, with this being uh, the beginning of the year, at least according to the Jewish calendar. So I think the sad thing about our history is that instead of seeing our differences as a source of enrichment and the diversity, that just as God has created this natural world that we see here with such diversity, it's not, mono, it's not monochromatic, they're not only one species, they're diverse species, so there are different ways of relating to God. And instead of being able to celebrate that, in the past we've been fighting with one another over who's right and who's wrong. Also, I know you're going to be um, leaving to go visit uh, Pope Francis. What's, what's on the agenda to meet with the Pope for? I imagine you've met several times. Yes, I think this will be my 15th meeting with Pope Francis. But even what they call a private audience isn't really a conversation. It's a couple of sentences. And this is uh, the AJC leadership will be celebrating Pope Francis's 10th anniversary as a Pope there. And amongst our program, we will have a Shabbat dinner to which we've invited, I think, six cardinals and another half a dozen archbishops. And we will celebrate Shabbat together and they will sing Shir HaMalot wow. from the benching. When Lord returned the captivity of Zion, we were like dreamers. So we'll have a wonderful time and celebration together. Rabbi David Rosen, it's always a pleasure to, to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chag Sameach. Chag Sameach to you as well.